hey guys it's me again and in today's video i'm going to show you how we can install mac os sonoma and then after that we can fix the wi-fi issue so this will be a combination of those two tutorials i've seen recently a lot of you guys asking about the wi-fi issue so in today's video that's what we're going to do i'm going to install mac os sonoma and then we can continue the drill is just the same even if you're coming from windows or mac you can see you need to have the requirements i've done that in a lot of video thus this that's this tutorial i'm gonna just brush on the top so you need to have the the image of the sonoma also you need to have balena etcher recently i just created a video where you can install it from the using the using the terminal on your mac but in today's video as you can see right here it's already writing i've done a lot of video in this how you can create a bootable usb so we're not going to go through that a lot so therefore so we need to wait for this one to finish and then we can continue with the installation and then fix the wi-fi validating and then we can continue from there right guys so you can see our task has completed successfully and now our usb is now bootable and the last thing we need to do is we need to have a copy of the efi which is supported on your cpu so if it is ice lake sky lake kaby lake and etc so mine i know it's sky lake and i have already got my efi ready right here so i'll just transfer it to i'll just transfer it to the usb flash drive so i'll i'll just mount this is the usb so i'll just mount it and then open the partition and then i'm going to delay this one and i'm going to paste the supported efi folder which we will use to boot our mac os sonoma so everything is ready guys the next thing we need to do i'm gonna just prepare my phone so we can continue with the installation so let me just pause the video and then
Okay guys, so here we are on our screen recorder and as you can see this is our newly installed Sonoma and there we go as you can see it's Sonoma 14.14.1.1 14 but as for doing this tutorial, the latest version of release is macOS Sonoma 14.3. So, okay. So with that say, let's, let's continue with the installation. So, we have successfully installed our Sonoma. The next thing we need to do, we need to patch our Wi-Fi. As you can see right there, Wi-Fi is not working. So, uh, let me show you. Here you can see I have nothing. I have not connected to any internet whatsoever. So, what you need to do, there are a few requirements that you need to have. First of all, let me just go to my I just drag it here and then let me just open this one so okay so this is my little cheat sheet from open core legacy Pager team so what you need to do you need to have these three cats so the m m a m f i pass cats and the io skywalk family cats and IO 821 family legacy case and also you need to have the open core legacy patch okay so let me just try to fix this display issue no why it's Just hold on one second right here. Okay, so we ready to, we have just fixed that. So this here is our cheat sheet. As you can see uh, first of all let's go step by step so we need to add our EFI first to our from our USB to our internal so I need to mount my NVMe partition also I need to mount my USB Okay, like so. So let me just copy this one and then come here and then paste so that we'll be working on the real EFI. Okay, so that one is done. Um, next, I'm going to do, I'm gonna unmount this one. Also, I'm gonna eject it okay cool so let me just open our config.p list with the, the open core configurator we'll be working on open core configurator right here since i haven't installed my property so the first thing you need to set our system integrity to this figure 
eight zero so what you need to do first you need to come you need to copy this one and then you need to add to nvram under the nvram choose the third sorry and then come here to csr active config so here just paste that figure and then we need to disable amfi so just come here and then just paste that, that one there also you need to set secure boot model to disable so just come to miscellaneous and then security make sure you have disable secure boot all right so the next thing we need to do we need to block these two cakes so just copy this one copy and then just come here to your config.p list under the kernel come here to block and then you just delete that one so let's add that one and let's say downgrade iOS Skywalk and then you need to set the main kernel to 23.0.0 right also you need to make sure that the strategy is exclude and make sure you have enable okay so with that done just save your config.p list then we need to add these two cats let me just minimize this one and open my cats for on the side of my nvme so we need to add the two cats that that is these two okay like so and then let me just add also this M M F E I pass so with that done come here to add and then let's add this let me first just remove all of this and then let me just drag them once like so okay so here are the three we have two but another one is the plugin for the io io821 family legacy so we need to make sure that io skywalk is the first And then I'll just call it BCM Wi-Fi. But this one is not mandatory. It's just optional. You can just... And then the main kernel right here, you need to add 23,0. Sorry, not comma, dot zero, dot zero. Also for this one, 23.0.0. And the last one should be also 23,0.0. Sorry, I keep on saying comma. Like so. And let me just also add this one. Wi-Fi. Okay. So with that one done me just save this config.p list 
and then if you try let's see if we try to run our open call legacy patch let's see let's see let's see if we click on you can see sip is enabled so we need to disable sip so let's let me just restart into recovery and then I can disable SIP so let me just save this one all right guys so the machine has restarted it took too long to restart but let me just open our open call legacy patcher and then click on post install as you can see right here we have networking modern wireless so I'll just start root patching key in my password then it will start to patch our system you can see right here we don't have the Wi-Fi and it is done you can see the root patch has finished successfully we will like to reboot now so let me just save my guys after the restart you can see the wi-fi right here that it has changed from the the one which had an excellent exclamation mark in the middle and right now you can see the okay there we go you can see the wi-fi now it has discover and detect wi-fi let me just pull this one and then let me just add the password right here very quick let's go to and see my ram samsung okay let me just go to system report sorry and then if we click on the wi-fi you can see ah, there we go you can see right there we have our Wi-Fi interfaces you can see it's the Broadcom BCM and status connected supported airdrop supported work on wireless it's supported so guys okay so let's fix something fast before I end this video let me just mount my EFI so that we can use our so it's missing keys or whatever so you can remember here if you see our we have the AMFI passcodes so what you need to do so here you need to just come here and then you need to delete this one and then just add a m5 pass beta and then just also come here to security and then you can make it to default like so and that's it so you can now
smaller version of that so guys that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed if you find this video helpful just give us a thumbs up share like subscribe and like always i will see you guys on the next one